Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. In this particular series, we are building a live project called Loan Management System, which is called Loan Manager in our case. And we are continuing to build the required endpoints and the APIs for a feature called Customers. We are spending some time on building this particular APIs and endpoints. That's important because this particular APIs and endpoints will serve as a blueprint for us to implement other modules. So in order to do that, essentially one time investment, right? So you have to spend some time, build the APIs in a way that that can be easily be reused, right? So we will use this customer API as a blueprint going forward for all the modules. So we are spending some time on building these endpoints today. If you notice in episode eight and nine and 10, we built the static endpoints. That means the data was static. Today we'll convert them into dynamic and test all our endpoints. In the next episode onwards, we will start writing our services in the UI and start calling these APIs, which are the live interfaces or endpoints. Let's get started. This is part 11 of the mean stack complete live project development. That's the loan management system we are building. Please do support this project. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. For the code base, please email me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Please do subscribe, like, comment, share these tutorials with your friends and colleagues. Thank you in advance. All right, so the story so far, um, in the last three episodes, we are focusing on building the APIs for the feature module called customers. So we are we are done with building the uh, endpoints, but they are all static, right? So the idea is to get the endpoints for the CRUD operations. That's your create, read, update, delete, find, and search. Today we will focus on converting the endpoints into dynamic content so that it's it is ready to start implementing with the UI, right? So let's get started uh, for our customers and viewers who are joining us new. So if you see, this is the application we are focusing on building. This is a payment system. We have dashboard, customers, payments. So we will we'll try and add as much features as possible so that you get the best learning out of this particular series, right? So we'll, we are building the APIs for this. So here we'll require the find all customers. We'll implement pagination. We'll need a search. We'll need to add a customer, update, edit, delete, right? So that's what we are focusing on. So if you remember, um, these are the, this is the routes we are working with customers.js. We implemented the list, view, add, update, delete, delete multiple and search, right? So these are the endpoints we implemented in the last episode. Today, we will make them dynamic, especially the add and update, right? So let's get started. Um, that's our main goal of this particular episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to capture all this data and I'm going to say first name, name val equal to, so this is an intermediate value, which I want to capture from the request dot body. So now we will be sending that details from the request body, right? So let's copy this line and add all the different keys that we have. That's namely last name, right? Uh, can we have the same thing? Yeah, you can definitely have the same name as long as it's not conflicting. And since it's a, uh, I would say since it's a const, right? So you can't anyway change the value there. Um, so make sure that you follow some uh, uh, proper naming convention uh, throughout your application. I'll be using this const so that we know that we are not updating any existing ones. So copy the same names. paste it here, right? And we need one more for the department. Unlike other projects that are done, this is a one man army that I'm doing. So it sometimes I do make mistakes, which is good. That's how we learn. Uh, I hope you appreciate the time and effort that I'm putting in. Please do subscribe, like the videos, keep encouraging me. Thank you so much in advance. Alrighty. So what I'm doing, I'm just capturing the value into a variable and mapping them here, right? Some people 
uh, what they tend to do is they tend to write right here like this right so this is uh, not a good idea uh, for multiple reasons one if you want to process this kind of a variable or something like that right so it's never if you change something you have to change it in the object then instead capture everything here if you want to do some operation make sure that you do let so that you can change them right const you cannot change right so this is an object that you are doing again you can do multiple object operations from es6 um, feel free to add your creativity i'm keeping it very simple basic to now we'll keep updating it as and when we go forward right all right so now i've got the post i got the endpoint now the data is dynamic because now i'm getting it from the body department i mean body um, object and I'm mapping mapping it to the customer object. That's what I'm sending it, right? So, so far looks good. Um, this should work now. Let's give it a spin. So NPM run start. So in the next episode onwards, we will be focusing on, so I've got this uh, object copied. So let's do that. So go to post and our endpoint is add, right? So let's put some values here, right? Um, you don't need the sorry team. right so okay so I'm adding a new user okay. right and make some changes to some phone number some department right okay so we got the customer right um, and let's hit send so now you're seeing status 200 okay and you're getting the new ID of the user whose name is Ram Kiran, right? So this is the dynamic data. And if you want to verify whether it's really dynamic or not, just hit the endpoint customer slash list. And now you should see that user added at the end. You see here, that means our ad is successful and the data is dynamic, right? So now what we are going to do, we will use this object, right? Um, to kind of update so we'll need to copy this, uh, copy this data because again, we will need this for our updating our customer. So go to update again here, there is static data, right? So let's replace this here. Make sure you remove this line because otherwise it would give you errors. All right, so here also I've done the same. Um, so here I'll also say that this is also coming from the body now. Right, the user ID will also be part of the body in the put method. It will not be query anymore. All right, so we got the details. Rest, nothing should change much. So see how simple it is, right? Uh, in a sense that you're making it dynamic. All right, so let's verify one last time. So we got the endpoint, which is put, it's update. And we got the customer user ID. And we got the object data, that's the values. We are building the customer object with the updated values. And we are saying find by ID and update the customer. So far looks good. I think ready to test it. Let's start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this user's ID here, right? And we will add it to this because now what we are doing is we are updating the value and put a comma. Okay, and this would be your put method now because it's an update and the endpoint is slash update, right? Uh, so what are we updating? Let's make this, let's call this guy anything, right? Um, let's, just, I think this should be the one of the most commonly used names in India. Um, okay, right? So. All right, so now what we are going to do, we are going to push, I mean, I'm just changing some data. You make sure that you give some proper data. See, the idea is give proper data so you can test it well, right? So slash update, put method, updated object, let's send. So now it says status 200, user updated successfully, right? Uh, so here it is still showing Ram Kumar because we are returning the old object. If you see here, we are returning the customer response, right? So what we should do ideally is make it customer object here. So whatever the customer object was coming, we should return that it would have the ID. Let's see that. Uh, 
right so now again let's uh, change it and let's give another common name from India I think I should start considering putting all my subscribers names I think that would be an interesting thing I don't want to do it without your permission if I have your permission drop them in the comments I'll probably start putting your just the names nothing no personal details uh, maybe not even the last name alrighty so we got the we have mapped the customer object uh, let's hit it so now you see we are getting the updated up details right and what you do then is do a customers list now we should see the updated values of that user so see all right so we got the updated uh, user details right um, that's what we are doing so we got the uh, add and we got the update both dynamic right uh, delete is anyway dynamic view is anyway dynamic right uh, so is the list right so that pretty much completes uh, the endpoints for now right there is a lot of work like search etc that we will do as and when we reach what we'll do here is in the next episode onwards we'll start writing services to integrate the ui code along with these screens so you see this data that would be dynamic we will try and do implement add update delete we'll also have to refactor our code for adding and for uh, pagination so there's a lot of um, work uh, we'll, we'll keep work working on it uh, I'm a single person who is working so this taking little time but I hope you are supporting me I hope you are learning from it right so you're building this loan management system the whole idea is to for you to help you train learn how a real-time project is built let's continue doing it in the next episode I'll start with creating the services in the UI side which is the front-end work and which will be our common libraries to start calling the APIs. Right? Join me in the next session. Uh, we will continue building our services. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my work, uh, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the videos. Thank you again for joining. See you in the next episode.